Welcome to Beyond the Known, where we unravel the threads of mystery woven into the fabric of our world. Tonight's episode isn't just speculative, it's a warning, a revelation, and perhaps, for some of you, an awakening. Lebanon, a land rich in history, culture, and contradictions. It has been called many names, the land of the cedars, the birthplace of the alphabet, and the crossroads of civilizations. But what if I told you that Lebanon harbors a secret so profound that it could shake the foundations of human understanding? A secret that ties its ancient past to its troubled present, and perhaps even our future as a species. I'm talking about the landing of extraterrestrials. Not in some far-off galaxy, but here, in the very heart of Phoenician territory. And not just a one-off event, but a long-standing relationship. A pact between these visitors and a highly secretive society that operates in the shadows, pulling strings and guarding knowledge far beyond our comprehension. Now I can hear some of you laughing already, but let me ask you this. Does laughing at something make it untrue? Keep listening. Lebanon's ancient Phoenicians were no ordinary civilization. They were master seafarers who connected the ancient world, establishing trade routes that stretched across continents. Their navigational skills and unprecedented knowledge of the stars have baffled historians for centuries. How could a civilization so small become so dominant? Some believe their knowledge was not entirely their own. Ancient carvings in Baalbek, a site revered in both history and mythology, depict unusual figures and unexplained phenomena. Baalbek itself houses the Temple of Jupiter, built on megalithic stones so massive that modern engineering struggles to explain how they were moved, let alone placed with such precision. The local legends? They speak of gods descending from the skies, beings who imparted wisdom to select individuals, beings who even today, some whisper, were not gods at all, but visitors from another world. Over time, as civilizations rose and fell, this knowledge didn't disappear. It was safeguarded by a secretive group, a society formed of highly selective individuals, bound by an oath to protect this information. In recent years, whispers of this group have surfaced among those who study esoteric knowledge and intelligence circles. This society is believed to have direct access to alien technology, technology that goes beyond our understanding of physics. We're talking interdimensional travel, manipulation of space-time, and knowledge of the universe's creation. Some sources even claim that certain Lebanese individuals in the diaspora, scientists, intellectuals, and artists, are covertly trained and initiated into this society, keeping their activities hidden under the guise of normal careers. Think of the brilliance of Lebanese figures scattered around the globe. Coincidence? Or carefully placed members of this order? Now, why would a secret like this remain hidden for so long? The answer lies in Lebanon's unique socio-political landscape. The country is fractured along religious and political lines with extremism and bias overshadowing any effort at unity. This division ensures that no single group can amass the power needed to uncover or expose the truth. In the chaos of Lebanon's politics, this society operates undetected, their secrecy guaranteed by the distraction of never-ending conflict. Look at it this way. If you wanted to hide something extraordinary, where better than in plain sight, surrounded by noise, confusion, and disbelief? If you're skeptical, let's consider some signs. 1. Baalbek's megaliths. Modern science struggles to replicate the engineering feats evident in Baalbek. Who had the knowledge to create such wonders thousands of years ago? And why does it align so closely with celestial patterns? 2. Modern disappearances. There have been documented cases of brilliant Lebanese thinkers who have seemingly disappeared from public view, only to reappear later with groundbreaking insights or technologies. Coincidence? 3. Global influence. The Lebanese diaspora is disproportionately influential in global affairs, science, and culture. Could some of these individuals be part of this secretive network placed strategically to guide humanity towards a certain future? 4. The timing. With global unrest and technological advances accelerating, rumors suggest this society might soon reveal themselves or be forced to intervene. The increasing reports of UFO sightings worldwide could be part of a coordinated effort to prepare us. You might laugh at all of this. You might brush it off as wild conspiracy, but that doesn't change what's coming. If this society exists, and if they truly possess the secrets of the universe, then their choices will shape the trajectory of humanity. Perhaps they've been protecting us, perhaps they've been guiding us, or perhaps they've been preparing us for something much bigger, a contact event, a paradigm shift. 
Think about it. Why now? Why are governments worldwide declassifying UFO reports? Why are we suddenly so close to the edges of technological breakthroughs we barely understand? And why is Lebanon, a tiny divided country, so significant in the grand scheme of things? We've reached the end of tonight's episode. But for those of you who scoff, I leave you with this. The truth doesn't require your belief to exist. It simply waits patiently for the right time to reveal itself. And when it does, when this secret society steps into the light, the laughter will stop. So stay curious, stay open-minded, and remember, every great truth was once ridiculed. What side of history will you stand on when the storm breaks? Thank you for listening to Beyond the Known. This is your host, signing off. Until next time, keep questioning. <laughs>